All right, we're here at uh, Rhizome with our friend Julian. Yeah, hello. And, and uh, you're going to tell us about your your product here, yeah. right? Okay. So why why this? What does it do? How does uh, it work? Tell basically us. Basically, it's a computer. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you go on the back, you will see that there is um, six analog outputs. Okay. It's an audio card from RME. Okay. Four analog, two analogs. Output to analog inputs here, one MIDI connection, one IDAT. Okay. There is also six USB ports, one LAN connector, one FireWire, there is one DVI screen connector, and one HDMI connector. Okay. It's embedding one processor, some RAM, and a hard disk. Okay. Then, if I push here, I just start the application. What the Ryzen does, it's a standalone VST sequencer. Okay. okay. Then it permits to you to use all your plugins. The usual tools that you are using will be in the machine. It's a VST bank. So okay. just any VST you can load in here. Yeah, 99% of them. Sometimes we have uh, some issue, but we are actually working. Yeah. But we are actually working on it. Then there is five environments. The mixer environment where you can play 64 instruments or samplers, and when, when where you can also insert FX and VSTs and stuff like that. The sequencer page where you can do 64 patterns, all containing 64 tracks. Then 64 times 64. You have also the sampler. Okay, it's a real-time sampler. That means that you don't need to stop the music to sample you to sample your guitar, to sample your voice. You have also here a pair of life system. It's like a DJ system. You have a project on the left, a project on the right, and you synchronize it. And to finish, you have the song part where you will uh, uh, ma make your song just by chaining with your hand in real time. The Rhizome is really a real time music tool. Well, show us. Huh? I said, uh, show us what it can do. Yeah, yeah. How, how, would you, how would you go through a project? Then, uh, I, I'm actually on the first project, new project one. Here I have nothing, only a step track. I recognize it because there is some steps. Then I push the new button. I select instrument and for example, I will uh, search for uh, lean drum. Then I will search for my lean drum. Uh, L1, Lin is here, I do load. If I go to the mixer, I see my Lin drum. I go back on the sequencer, I have my Lin drum here. Here is the reference note. When I place some pads on the step tracks, they are B2, because my default note is set to B2. I will set it on C3 and listen. Uh, I have to pull up. All my notes were placed on C3. If I change it, my note will change too. Then what I will do now is to create some new step track. I do shift, new, step track, step track, step track. I close, I assign the same plugin. Just turn it like that, and then it is the same plugin. I do that, I want to place my snare drum. I do that and that. Then now I will select the other one. I will come back on my bass drum. I'm happy with that. Okay. I select the third one. Here I want to place a note on every pad. I push down, I do that. And then I place everywhere. Here I want to assign a hi-hat. Okay. By the way, if I want, I can directly go on the mixer, on the mix pad, and say that it has to be okay. less low. This is, this is your master? Yeah, this is okay. the master. Okay. okay. Then, but I did it there, right, because right, right. sometimes okay. I'm a bit stupid. Okay. Then. <laughs> we'll, we'll allow, Julian. We'll allow. We'll allow. We'll allow. Then, now, what I want to do is to place some nuts. Oh, okay, uh, no. To, I want to modify the velocity. I go on a, another page. Okay. I push an old. And I do that. All 
the brand details are set in at the same time. So this this button, basically, uh, you change parameter, it changes it for all of them. Yeah, I mean, this button is, is when you change only one, you change only one. When you press and hold, you change all of them. Okay. For Very example, good. what I want to do is some uh, uh, an accent uh, stuff. Then here I will do an accent here, another accent here, a third one here, and another here. And when I will do that back, it will be keep the difference. Okay, it's a relative tool. Then I do that, and you can hear the difference. Okay, no. What I want to do is to place, for example, a clap, but without to place some pads, directly with the hand. Okay. To do that, I will, I can just use a pre-count, okay? Or I can, oh, then I will set the, the click level less important, okay? I can push record and play like that uh, with a pre count, or I can push play and record directly. Then I go back on the step, I see them. And, and I do that for my velocity. Very good. Okay, now I want to act on my groove. I select the right line. What you have to understand is, it's a matrix system. Okay. To select one of the field parameters, I select one of the lines, and you can see that the line is selected. Okay. It will work with, with all of the window. Okay. To the other side, we'll find the windows access. I push on all windows, then I access to the other windows that I can find. And trust me, there is many. <laughs> then, now, what I will do is to go back on the parameter 2, to do play, and I will add some groove. Then here it's we are close uh, to some swing, and I will go to shuffle, and then to the one eight. Is there any ability to save, uh, you know, like swing a groove preset and apply them? Similar to you know what everybody else Ableton and everybody else is doing. Can you save groove presets? Not actually, but we will. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I, I just want to clarify. So you can load any VST you want. So let's say you you use battery. You've created some nice yeah, yeah. Uh, drums and battery. You load them in here, and then you're able to change the note right here, and that changes what what drum is being played. Correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, you just go across, create your drums. Select, yeah, uh, this selects the uh, the sound that it's going to be triggering, and then everything else uh, yeah, yeah, is yeah, according to you're that. You're right, it's like that. Then what I want to, would like to show you too is the, f the groove is an option, but you, you have also the factor. Then if I go on the factor, uh, first of all I want to change that. We will do like that. Then here if I want you can listen my hi-hat. Okay. If I change the factor to the half, it's the half to the quarter. Okay, then. And triplet. Then there is many options around to sculpt your rhythm and to really design it as you want. Okay. Um, what we will do now is to create another kind of uh, track. The step track is limited to eight bars and monophonic. That means that I cannot do polyrhythm like that, you know. Sorry. It won't be possible. Then I will create a new track, shift, new, real time track. I will close. I will go back here and, for example, create a um, battery. And then I will do go on. Battery. Uh, where is battery? Battery. Battery three. Then I do load. Oh no. Uh, baseline. Uh, yeah, it's just the, the wrong one. Then I go back. I do instrument. And I create battery. I have battery. Uh, battery is a heavy plugin. Yes. It takes five seconds to load. Okay. Then now, if I want to see battery and to load my program, I do shift. 
VC editor. Stick went first, stick went first, and it's not normal. And I select my plugin. And then I see battery in my other screen here. That means that that screen is connected to the riser. And if I want to do as always, if I don't want to change my habits, I will. Okay. You're over here. If you're used to editing here, you edit here, yeah. you compose here. Then you start, you, you, you keep your habits okay. uh, as you yeah. Then now I will charge for, uh, for example, uh, whichever kit. It's loading it. And now if I want. Okay. And just, just to just to clarify for the viewers. This is in here, yeah. not in a computer. No, yeah, you're this right. Is, this is the computer. Because this is the computer. Okay. And this is the main important thing of it. You don't need to use another computer. And by the way, when you preset it like that, you don't need it. To, you don't need to have another screen. You can use only that. Because now, when I will save the song, the program will be saving it. Okay? Now, if I want to record the real time track, the real-time track is not limited. I mean, it's limited to 9,999 bars. Okay. Okay, and it's polyphonic. Then I can do... Uh, I will search for a good... Okay, I will play like that. Then, then I will... Long. Okay, it was wrong, I want just to clear it, I do that, and I clear it. Okay. Okay. And now it's automatically looped. How I know it, I go on piano roll, I do that and I see my loop. Okay. By the way, my loop is too long. Okay. And I don't have any contise. Then what I can do is to contise it, but I can hear what I do. Okay. I contise in real time and with a non destructive mode. Okay. By the way, my first bar was wrong. What I will do is to say that my loop in is here. Okay, and if I do that, I am obliged also to shift my start point. And then... Very good. Just listen. Okay. Very good. What we saw here is only the sequencer, okay? What we will show right now will be the sampler. And you will discover that our sampler is also really huge and really open. Then, to use the sampler, I will go back on the Windows sequencer. I will go back on the... Oh, oh, oh. On the first page, I will do Shift, New. Step track, step track, step track. I will close. I push. Oh, wait. I push like that and I create a sampler. Here, I create another sampler. You see, sampler one, sampler two. Here, I create a sampler three. Okay. Look, I select the, pay, the track, I go on the steps, and I imagine in advance that I will place my clap here and here. If I do play, nothing happens. I will put at the moment it's solo, okay? If I show the sampler window, there is nothing in it, but I see my steps. Now I will do that, it's opening the browser, then I go on D, I go on my samples, I do plus, I see my samples bank, and you can see my sampler pulse here, okay? I will do on the second one, I will do plus again, select the clap, and then put out the, and listen. Then before to load it, you can listen it. Very good. I like that one, I do load. Okay, now I select the, the, the other one, it's empty, I will place, for example, another ride. I do that, I go on cymbals, 
I like that one, I do loud. But the length is not sufficient. I can change it. Okay, I can also say that it's, it has... Okay, I can go here and say that it is an envelope. Okay, I go back here on my clap. I put it in solo. Okay, I say that my loop end is here. I say that my duration for that one is like that and I active the loop. And then I set my loop end. I change the factor. Okay, and I say that it's repeating only one time. Then we saw, I mean, 10 percent of the capacity actually. Yeah. Um, right now, I was working only on my pattern one. Okay. Then I will do shift copy. Uh, pardon, shift copy. Then do that. I play, and my second pattern is here. Oh. That Nico. Could you? Could uh, that, that? Yeah. All right, so, you know, obviously your product is very tactile, you know, very, very hands-on. Uh, you're not digging through a bunch of menus to just reach out and, and touch what you want. But overall, why, why the Rizo? Why not, um, why not a software program? Why not something else? Why, why you? Because, uh, you know, we were users and we made many focus groups with some other users and uh, what we found is, uh, finally, every time when we made music, we are obligated to, to, we were obligated to use our mouse, our keyboards, and uh, you know, music is around to play. Music is around to use your hands. Uh, music is around to act. And the problem with the mouse and the keyboard is you are every time obligated to prevent in advance what you will do. The, the reason why also to group all of the possibilities and the capacities directly in one object, uh, all in one solution. I mean, I love all the groove stations that I have, I love all my sampler stations, but the problem is when I want to do something, I'm obligated to go to the computer. Here we embed it all in it, okay? It's a real-time sampler sequence on many things at the same time. Well, I'll tell you, I, I really like the, you know, the tactile interface, and my favorite thing is uh, my email and my Facebook are not popping up and distracting me. But, <laughs> no. Now, overall, great product, uh, Julian. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it.